Hi, my name is Callie. I work here at Seattle Children's. I'm a child life specialist, and my job is to teach kids about MRIs and what happens in the hospital. I'm going to show you some of the places you'll see and some of the things you'll do when you come for your MRI. The MRI, which stands for Magnetic Resonance Imaging, takes pictures of the inside of your body by using a large magnet, radio waves, and a computer. These pictures give doctors called radiologists a close look at your bones, organs, and tissues. Some kids say an MRI looks like a giant donut with a bed that slides into the middle of the donut hole. Others tell me they like to pretend that it's a spaceship. The camera doesn't touch your body and you can't feel when it's taking pictures. Let's start from the beginning. After you check in, you'll go to the radiology front desk. Radiology is a place in the hospital where lots of kids get pictures taken of the inside of their bodies. You can color, play on the Wii, or watch TV until it's your turn. When you get an MRI, it's important to hold still so that the pictures turn out just right. Some kids get sleepy medicine called anesthesia to help them hold still for the pictures. Other kids do their MRIs awake. Someone will call your name when it's your turn. Your parents can come with you. You will be given your own room with a bed, chairs, and a TV. Here you will meet different people who will ask you questions and talk to your family. They will check your blood pressure, listen to your heart, and take your temperature. You will be given hospital pajamas to wear during your MRI. The MRI is made up of a big magnet, so it's important to take off any metal, including barrettes, headbands, glasses, and jewelry. You will also meet a doctor called an anesthesiologist. Anesthesiologists help kids fall asleep while they are having an MRI and then help them wake up when it is finished. Your anesthesiologist may ask you, when did you eat last? And do you have any loose teeth? There are a few different ways kids get sleepy medicine. One is through a tiny straw called an IV. Another is through a mask that's soft and goes over your nose and mouth. Some kids like to decorate their mask with stickers. It can also be fun to choose a smell for your mask. You can choose strawberry, okay. bubblegum, root beer, or orange. Ooh, like yeah. Your parents okay. can be with you while you fall asleep. Right. You can okay. either sit up this or lie down on the bed. So Some kids like to hold a family member's this? hand or yes. snuggle a stuffed animal. Your job is to hold still so the mask stays on your nose and mouth. With the mask on, you can still laugh, talk, and smile. Some kids like to see how high they can count before they fall asleep. Sleepy medicine will help you hold still for the pictures. When your MRI is finished and it is time to wake up, you will go back to the room where your family is waiting. Because the medicine puts you in a deep sleep, you might still feel sleepy or a little dizzy when you wake up. Most kids say the best part about waking up is being able to eat again. You will be given some crackers and juice. Then you can get dressed. After the nurse talks to you and your family about going home, you can leave the hospital. Now that you know what to expect from your anesthesia and MRI, it's time to make a plan. Talk with your family to know what you can do to be ready for your MRI. What would you like to bring from home? You may want to bring a stuffed animal, a blanket, or a favorite activity to do while you wait. What do you want your mask to smell like? Bubble gum, strawberry, root beer, or orange? What do you want to do or talk about while you fall asleep? You may want to think of your favorite vacation spot, or you may want to see how high you can count. Now you're all set for your MRI. We'll see you soon.